Hey guys, it's Junior. Welcome back to my channel here at Horsepower Warehouse. Before we get going in the garage here, I wanted to do a proper send off to a car that we just finished. 1967 convertible Goodwood Green saddle tan car. Now this one was a car that actually was brought to us as just a chassis restoration to start. The gentleman wanted to do some mild updates to it. Mainly he wanted to add air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, do a refresh of the chassis, just making an overall nicer driving car. It came to us as a side pipe car, so we wanted to go ahead and convert it to a rear exit exhaust car. In doing so, I had to change the rear exhaust panel, going from a side pipe car with a solid rear exhaust panel to the converted panel where the exhaust runs through it. That means I needed to paint that exhaust panel green. When I did that, unfortunately here we kind of go too hard. We, we do the best that we can. It doesn't matter if I'm changing your oil filter, I'm gonna change that filter the best I can do it. When I painted his exhaust panel and we went to bolt it up to the car, it really showed how gnarly the paint was in comparison to what we're capable of. Now the paint, wasn't really super awful. I mean, such that we didn't even consider it for, as needing a paint job until we really tried to bolt up that exhaust panel. And then sure enough, guys, you know, it's just, he really saw what we were capable of capable of. So we sent that through the painter. That one went through Joe. I have two incredibly capable guys that are working with me for my paint jobs. Joe and Josh, they are best in the business. If I had to travel to New York or California to get my cars painted by them, that's where I would be traveling to, to have those guys lay their fingers on my car. And that's the way I approach my entire build. Same down to the powder coating. Uh, coating application technologies, I feel like is the best in the business. If I had to go to Cali to get my stuff coated by them, by Cat, that's where I'd go. Same thing with Steve Keach in Keach's Machine Shop. The guys that build my long blocks, I feel like are the best in the country. If I had to crate my stuff up, send it across the country and back, I would do that every single time so that I could get Keach and his boys to work on my stuff because I feel like they stand behind their work and they've been doing it for decades. With that being said, let's say goodbye to the the Goodwood green car, farewell, that thing came out fantastic. We will be moving on now to our 66 427 car. This one is a $18,000, $20,000 restoration, something in that of that nature, 48 and a half hours of labor plus parts. You can see we have, the interior is completely gutted. We're still waiting for a carpet kit to arrive. We've went and completely sound deadened the entire interior. On the engine bay side of things, you can see things are looking a little bit nicer now than when we first started. Of course, if you've been watching my channel previously, you know that I have made the statement that there is no correct way to paint an engine with it in the car. You're always gonna have some sort of sacrifice. With this one, I actually took all of the accessories off, valve covers off, oil pan off, exhaust manifolds off, water pump off. Everything was pretty much stripped so I can get it to where it looks like now. It looks like it was painted out of the car, but to be honest with you guys, the engine did not come out in this case just because we didn't have enough time. In 48 and a half hours, it wasn't just an engine paint. It was complete decontamination of the bottom of the car, strip all the body, do all the interior, we're putting a new set of tires on it. I added power brakes. So this one, it looks a lot more fresh and tidy. So this was like a cosmetic refresh mixed with a really, really intensive tune-up, I guess is what I would consider this one. Also little things like air cleaner lids. We're gonna be um, rebuilding the glove box, hoses and belts so on and so forth. Just kind of giving it a, a full refresh so that this gentleman can actually get it out on the road and enjoy it. You can see Ivana did the reskin on the seats. 
The old seats look yellow and gnarly. The new seats look absolutely awesome. I gave her a one day lesson on just upholstery and she just knocked it out of the park. So thank you Ivana for killing it. She's back there still working. Please guys, don't feel like I'm the only one at back here busting my butt. Let's go say hi. Hello. Thank you Ivana, you, you rock. Thanks. So we've been just nailing it back here with that car. Let's take a look at this guy. Plans are, I'm gonna roll the chassis out of the way with this one. We're gonna get down and start getting into bird cage. So this one is gonna be bird cage and floor restoration basically is what's gonna be my next step. I need to do the required modifications to the floor so that it jives happily with the street shop chassis. So that's what we're gonna be diving into in this next week. I have that on the schedule. Also on the schedule is this one. We have doors going back onto body. As previously mentioned, Keech and the boys have just knocked it out of the park again. Another big block motor built by Keech and, Keech and Co. I mean, fantastic. Um, they use hand-selected parts. Comp Cams is the manufacturer of my camshafts that I use in my engines. So it just goes on and on and on. If you want to build the best engine possible, I highly recommend going with an engine builder that knows the difference between good and bad. And I guess I'll just leave it at that. So this car is coming out fantastic. You can see the bird cage is all primered in the green iron oxide. This one is gonna be my weekend project. Um, meaning I'm going to spend all weekend on this one, just continuing forth on engine bay and interior. We have a pretty good order of stuff coming for this car. We've reconciled all the parts. Soft parts are coming next. So carpet kit, so on and so forth. This car is just coming out really, really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, it was missing quite a few parts when they delivered this car to me. Um, it was brought to me in a trailer as kind of a, a, a basket um, case, so to speak. Um, but I'm going through and right now sourcing a couple of the missing pieces that are gonna be necessary to get this one going. This one was head to head. It was in a race with that green uh, Goodwood car. This one is 99% there. Uh, I'm almost there. Literally bolt seats in it, put the hood on it, take it to upholstery alignment and then shake down. If you ask me, one of the most important parts of the restoration is the shakedown. So no matter what I do, no matter how many cars I build, I'm building a vintage machine. Um, I have to be able to drive it and torque things, put things through heat cycles, make sure new parts don't become faulty new parts, so to speak. Um, that's part of me guaranteeing that I'm giving you guys a quality, quality product is the shakedown procedure. So um, I had to put a minimum of 10 miles on that green car. Traditionally, I'll put more like 50 miles on your car before I give it to you guys back, just to make sure. I will do a dozen or more heat cycles um, and I run it all around town basically. And I'll burn at least a tank of gas or so, just back and forth and stop and go. Um, think, seating in things like brake shoes, um, clutch so on and so forth so yeah if you ask me that's probably one of the most important parts of the restoration is the follow-up at the very end and just making sure that everything is right for you guys so comment down below if there's anything that you guys want to see i thank you guys so much for joining me and until next time take care